Hello everybody, dear friends. This is Irish Thief with you today. The world has never seen such kindness, such charisma, and also with me. Savic, one, two, three, four. There, there's a man here behind the window. You guys behind the window. Behind in the, the window. neighborhood, you guys. And if you don't know who that is, then Savic will tell you right now. Guys, he's this really weird monster. He can stretch himself out to various lengths, and he looks in other people's windows. And, of course, he leaves no one alive after that. But there is a most important rule. If this man behind the window looked through your window and saw you, then you must hide right away, you guys, in the next five minutes, and he shouldn't find you at all. If he does, then something bad will happen real bad. And today, we're going to make a drone footage of the man behind the window, you guys, as he's looking someone else's window. Do you guys guys realize that normally he's only seen as he's only looking in someone's window and today we will try to see him from the drone we have exactly how he peeks outside and how does he do this at all right the drone is already in the air here and i can see why the man outside the window chose this particular neighborhood well i'll try to explain it to you all right now first of all there's a lot of greenery here right Sophie? there's a lot of trees here yeah lots of trees this neighborhood must be so eco-friendly what this means is that he can peek through the window of absolutely any house there is here and then quickly hide in the bushes yeah for real and also you'll notice that the houses here are eight, nine, ten stories high. I mean, there's no really big, high-rise buildings here. Right, and five-story buildings, guys. Of course, there they are. Well, it's unclear if he can extend his limbs enough to look up to the 40th floor or something like that, you know? Yeah. Look, there's a trade center over there. Oh, that's the one you and I were looking on at the map, you know? It's a mall with a direct entrance to the subway inside it. Yeah, there's plenty of stores out there, you guys. Imagine the crazy amount of people that are coming in here. I mean, there's probably not so many people here during midday, but in the evening, everybody comes back from work, and there's got to be a crowd. Yeah, there's also a park over there. Savik, that's right. Well, the roofs and the roofs. We have definitely got to check out these roofs mm -hmm. because it's not only the ground that he can look out to the windows from, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's really so green around here. I mean, just imagine. Let's just say he ran into all these bushes here. We will never be able to get a clear drone shot of him at all. Listen, I wonder who planted all these trees. So many trees around here. There must be a million of them around here. Safik, of course it's like that. It's an old neighborhood, you know? Just come to think about it. When everybody was just settling here, they planted really small trees. Well, yeah, speaking of that, well, you guys are like trees to us, and we have our channel here, right? It's not like this neighborhood, but it's like a bit smaller, so it's all green, which is good for the planet. Well, as for our channel, we need more trees, you know? Little tree people. So guys, subscribe to our channel and plant this tree of yours, so to speak. Hey, let's just keep an eye on the drone. We might miss something important here. Well, all right. Hey, just take a good look on how long this house right here is. That's right. Here you were distracting me with these speeches, and I almost missed out on how many apartments there actually are around here. Well, man, this house is as long as the Great Wall of China. You guys, just imagine how much work the man behind the window has got to do right here. Just look in every window, right? That's just crazy, you know? No, it's not like he stares into every single one. Well, if I were that window man and I had to look in absolutely every window. I'd probably have to move past enough to make it through the night, you know, or even the evening, or even in the day after to look in every window. Well, yeah, maybe he's not even here. I mean, it could be a big story. How could he not? Come on, of course he's here. There's probably a school or a kindergarten around here, you know what I mean? Wait, there it is, I think. Right right over there. Yeah, right. Whoa. There's a part of it right over there. It's look, 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 look. Yeah. yeah. It's apparently, well, some school, but it's very strange shaped. Just look the letter H. Well, yeah, everyone's school is different. Some students have an H shape, some have a T shape, and some others may have uh... Well, I don't know. I've never seen such a letter shaped building before in my life. There's like two of these buildings that are connected, so you can apparently move in between them. So if we like 
fly up as high as possible then. Maybe there's some sort of word written on them. You mean with all these letter-shaped schools? You guys, be sure to write in the comments what shape your school or your kindergarten is. Because as for me, well, I mean, I honestly did not know that a building can have the shape of a certain letter. And you know, the most important thing is that the regular school or a kindergarten is usually a two or three story building with a maximum of four floors. So that the kids don't run downstairs any faster. Yeah, but the man behind the window could easily look inside there, right? That's right. And all the windows are huge in there too. And security guard is some grandpa? So I think that we should hang above this school for a little bit longer. So, I mean, like, I suppose the man behind the window will not be able to resist and will want to look through one of these windows eventually. Maybe, guys, because that's exactly what he wants. It's too crowded at the moment right now. What do you think? So we just have to keep an eye on this school. <gasps> so if you could just look, there's that man behind the window. Oh no, guys, it's really him, you guys. So we're told the truth, it's really him doing his stuff. Oh, by the way, he's looking at the second floor right now. So I think there could be kids in classes going on right now, and he's looking straight at them in their faces. They probably have exactly five minutes to run away from Hey! Someone distracts him or something. Just look, he's gone now. We need to search the entire area now, Safik. Holy crap, we actually just got a shot of the man behind the window. He was looking through the window. We should show him as soon as he's peeking directly through some window. But how are we going to find him here? I told you this place is full of greenery here. Mm. <gasps> Maybe he's on the rooftop somewhere. Maybe he's on the rooftop since he's not down there. Just look, we're filming and he's not there. So let's just check on the roofs of the houses. If he's so tall, he could like stretch out and jump on the roof and hide somewhere up there on the roof. I mean, it seemed like a good idea, but I think about it. What rooftops, huh? He's always operating from the ground, you know, and moving around freely. All right, why don't we look through the window too, huh? That's an awesome idea. We can stay ahead of him that way just a little bit. That's right. So I guess that we could just go ahead and look through people's windows to see, well, if there's like something interesting there and whether it will attract the man behind the window. Oh, by the way, yeah, right. That way we can actually understand who lives inside this house because it's not just an ordinary house. I think there's a barrier there. I'm peeking through the window oh, right now. Oh, over there, right there, right there, right there. Wait, 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 look at it. There's some kind of sports field over there. Let's look through the windows first. All right, show it. Come on, come on. Here it comes. Just wait. There. Whoa, this is there. a sports wheel. Well, I mean, this is where people just play sports. It's a brand new one. But there are no windows here, right? I wouldn't expect a man behind I mean, the window the local to appear. people there must be really well off. Maybe he's trying to steal something. Look how cool the playground is. Of course he'd want to in this area. He's looking in the windows for his own pleasure. He's like a sick monster. He doesn't do it for the money at all. He just likes to make other people suffer, you know? That's what I think. I don't know. I really don't know, Artyom. All right, let's look out the window. Like, what's there? How do you think these people won't be offended with us just peeking through their windows. Maybe you will, but by the way, we're actually flying a drone, man, so we can well, probably there, hear it. There, some locals are coming that way, just look. <gasps> oh, oh, what's that? Oh. What? But the, the man behind the window has run out from the, around the corner and is looking through the third floor window. Oh my goodness, there's a man in there who really got sick. Is he having a heart attack right now or something? He's trying oh, to. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up, run, run out of there, run, run, guy, run, run. That's it, Suffolk, he runs, looks, he's running oh, away now. Man. It's a man from behind the window, just look, he went behind the corner. Oh my, where did he go? Is he okay? Yeah, of course, he's okay. But he's off to somewhere again. All right, let me let me try to go a little bit higher and have a better view from up there. Where is he now? Where'd he go? No matter how close we inspect the territories, it's just impossible to spot him. We can only see him when he allows us to do so. Wait, wait, it's the house, but why did he pick it? Well, I don't know. Let's just check the roof, maybe. Maybe there's something up there on the roof there. What? What is that? What's all that on the roof? There's some kind of a tanks, I guess, there? It's all black. Guys, there's a bunch of tanks on the roof. That's gotta mean something. It was the man behind the window who was so boldly peering into someone else's window in the middle of the day that even some other people noticed at him. And he was obviously doing that for some reason because we've inspected the roof of this house and there's something very strange right there, like some tanks there. Tanks. It's possible these guys at the SCP Foundation has some kind of connection to all of this. They have to. See, they're like they're standing there on the pallets right there. A lot of black cylinders. I mean, maybe they're not cylinders at all. If you know what this is, then write about this in the comments. Yeah, guys, this is all really but weird. But to me, that's some really weird roof thing, sort of, I guess. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's right. That's probably why he chose this house. What's going to happen next, huh? 
What should we wait for him? I have no idea. Let's try to locate him right now. He's probably already run off to some other house to look through its other windows, you know? Oh, wait, look, there's a school, and there's another house over there. If we check with the map, there are those high-story buildings well, over there. Well, they stand out a lot from the rest of the buildings there. So, like I said in the video before this one, all the houses here are of average height here. And then these giants here. That's just something incredible, you know what I mean? Oh, by the way, we can see them really well from here because the houses are tall. And there's no greenery underneath it. Uh, by the way, that's right. There's even some kind of a black square here. Probably a parking lot of some sort of... But it doesn't look so good from above. Well, if we try to look through every single window here, Sophic, then we'll just go crazy. There are probably a thousand or even more apartments just on this one side of the building. Yeah, it's a really big house, you guys. Lots of people living in it, like an anthill. There's a red car down there, looking suspicious. All cars that are red to me look suspicious, guys. In fact, red is a suspicious color itself, you know? So you see it? <gasps> oh, whoa! There's he ran in there between the buildings, between the buildings right down the road. I saw him going in there. No way, man. Can you move it a little more to the right? Maybe he's behind the house. We'll have a clear view of him then. You see that car coming? They must have seen him down there. What if he's moving so fast that we can't even track his movement? You see that dome up there? What is that? Maybe there's a reason that he's moving that way. Maybe he's just not showing up near those houses because there were some sort of like cylinders over there that were up there. And now there are some weird domes here, you guys. Oh. And guys, the buildings all have these spires on top. It's like a special thing to divert lightning. I mean, the lightning probably comes down and it hits these huge spires and then they all get energized. It's like that villain from the Spider-Man movie, you know? He lived in a mansion just like that and it also had a dome on top. Maybe we should fly closer to them because look, it's just like a small one and well, it's like a big city and all, but all the buildings are very small compared to these houses here. And as for these particular houses that we're looking at, they're just really huge. They really seem magical because no other house has that weird spire dome on it. Because I mean, we're walking around down here and I don't even see those up there. I mean, there's really no chance to see them from below. But here, from above, you can see everything, you guys. Whoa, 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 look, look, I'm getting closer right here. Go ahead. I thought, well, maybe this is some kind of a rich house with some fancy terrace or something, and it's just here. Just look, you can see this metal structure yeah, right I'm on saying, top, and there's nothing else here. Is that what this thing is needed for? It doesn't protect anything, or it doesn't guard anything. It's just a real conspiracy, you guys. It has some sort of technical function, I guess, apparently. Just like, something maybe. like that. It's totally, yeah. It's possible that it's a charging subway network, or even worse, SCP monsters! He's already fled from here, probably, so let's Dang. try to locate him before he runs far away from these houses right here. Oh, by the way, the last time he used a regular road to run away, so you and I should monitor these regular roads, like where I see the people walking around, but not too often. And that's probably where he's running from time to time. No, that doesn't make any sense. Come on, I'm sure of it. Just like he ran before us! Whoa! Whoa there! There he goes! Holy moly! He's headed over there! No way! Yeah, man, look! We gotta go after him! Let's go after him right now! Did you guys see just how fast he is? Did you see that? Oh, wow! Go up, come on, come on, let's go higher! He slid back into the yards over there! Can you see it? There's like three... Three word houses over there. He's got to be somewhere. It's just a very strange area. On one side, it's full of trees, and on the other side, there's none of it. So, but now I'm like, I'll somehow try to locate them, of course. But I think that we've already missed him for sure, and I don't think that there's a chance that we're going to find him. Come on, him. come on, over here, over here, right past the schools. There's these houses, and there's these weird houses. He's got to be on there somewhere, or maybe I'm wrong. There's some really crazy greenery here, you guys. It's like I'm flying a drone through the actual woods. Guys, it's really like Chernobyl. I mean, when we were there, there were a lot of trees around the houses. We can look at these rooftops forever, man. There's nothing interesting here at all, at all. I'm thinking, you know what I mean? Turn around a little bit. You see? Right there. There's something strange. Yeah, there's a hole. It is oh. pitch black. There's no door closing the way to the roof. All the others had one. Apparently, that's because the man behind the window, well, when he gets on the roofs, he just kicks those doors in. Get it? It might not be pointing at anything at all, but... Well, who knows? Come closer, come closer. Let's take a look inside of that hole right there. But I don't know if I can fly that close, you know? Listen, the way I see it, we could even go up there and personally walk on the roof. It's not safe to walk around on the roof, Sophie. Well, it's basically unsafe to walk anywhere. Oh, whoa! 
I just now saw him peeking out of that door and then going back inside no, of it no. to hide. It's like that monster's following our drone, you guys. He's really tracking our drone well, fly specifically. Away, fly away, fly away to a safe distance, dude. He could just like reach out to our drone and, and totally break it if he wanted to. We're at a safer distance right now. Yeah. He's not gonna jump scare us now at all. Well, I could see him peeking out of that blackness back there. I saw that too. It was really weird. Now we're getting a little bit closer. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it was all over the screen. Hey, hey, where's... What? The drone is glitching out. Our drone, what was that? Oh, man. What are we going to do now? You guys, the man behind the window just appeared right out in front of our drone. That's how high he can go. And the worst thing about it was that, well, our, like, drone just glitched out. And now I've got nothing shown here except for this stupid big red subscribe button for you. So, like, what am I supposed to do with the drone now? How do I resume the video, Sophic? Oh, I... I think I know. Here, let me show you. Look, you guys, right now you're probably watching our video just like this. All you have to do is just flip over your phone or your tablet and click on this red button right here. Oh, there. Easy. Now you're subscribed. If a lot of people subscribe to us right now, our drone will return back to normal. So come on, flip your phone over, click on the red button, and you'll become a subscriber. It's that easy. So what, Artyom? Did the drone unblock? Come on, you guys, just click on that red button right now, you guys. Oh, yeah, my God. All right, you guys, I can pilot the drone now. Oh, thank you so much to all of you. The drone has been revived, and now it seems to be completely fine. But this is really messed up. We could have lost the drone, and we have no idea what happens to a person if the man behind the window is looking at him through the camera. It's just nonsense, or Tim. I'll tell you this. He could peek inside our car any moment, man. You could say that we looked at him through the camera's window and stared right into his eyes. Careful, careful. Watch out. There's that house here. What's in that window? Look, I don't understand. Well, well I mean, there's something like a silhouette of a man over oh, there. Oh, by the way, do you notice that all the windows here are curtained? Well, most of them are sealed shut. By the way, that's about right. Just look there in the window. There are three windows are closed with tin foil, yeah? and the rest of them have their roller shades down on them. Maybe he's behind there and he comes Whoa, here a lot. Who's over there? I don't know who he is, but just look, he's the only one here with his window open, and it's like he's trying to draw the window maze of tin here. Yeah, I'm sure of it. He's luring him on purpose. He's really attracting him. There, I'm just gonna go closer to him right here. Well, look at that guy. He's got a beard. A beard and glasses. And now he's lighting some sort of paper on fire here. Oh my god. Why would he do that? Well, it's like I told you. I still think that he's trying to get the attention of the man behind the window. It's possible, guys. Like, for real. There's a chance that he wants to get our attention and take him down. Trap him somehow. Or maybe he's just crazy. You know? I mean, it's just so really unclear. There's some kind of, I think, iron or wooden planks left on the side of the window. Oh, he's still setting something on fire. Well, I should fly away from this window here or he'll shoot my drone down with a shotgun or something. You know what I mean? I mean, he's definitely looking a little crazy. Maybe it's a real psycho, you guys. Look, there's no signs of life in the other windows. That's what I'm saying, that the other people here are completely sane. They don't even look out their windows at all. <gasps> oh, man, I'm way the other window. No way. What? Just look. He, he's coming closer oh, he's to him. him. Shut the window. Get Shut the window. Get Shut it. The window. Shut it. The window. Shut the window. Get out. Oh, that's it, Suffolk. He slammed the window just in time. Let's go to him. We know his floor. That's right. It's the top floor in the last apartment there. Guys, we have to go tell this guy about his intentions. Get the camera. Get the camera. Are you wait? Where are you going? There's an elevator here. We're going to the top floor. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. We're going. Come on, come on, come on. It's a cool. It's cool. It's all right. Do you think that we're gonna make it up there or not? I don't know, you guys. It's really dangerous here now. We're probably going straight into the enemy's lair. Hurry up, Artyom. He's around here somewhere. It's one of these apartments. If it's that side, then it's this apartment. Open up. Maybe there's an intercom here. Oh. Come on in, guys. Come on, come on. It's him. We just saw the man behind your window looking into your place there. Have some donuts. It's just okay, don't it's go okay. Thank second. You, it's not what we came for at all. Come on, take the donuts. I'm telling you that you have been watched by the man, the man behind, behind the, the window. window. And you were trying to catch his attention. Why would you do that? I'll tell you, but first have the donuts. I've been working hard cooking that. Well, all right. Oh, 
Mmm, it's really tasty. That's great. Come on. Come on in. I'll show you around. Here you go. So tell us now, why were you attracting the attention of the man behind the window? That's right. That's how it is. That's all there is. It had to be done. It's really weird, Artyom. We shouldn't have come inside of his apartment. Hey, just look. What a weird color. Forget about it. These are your real facts. He's probably been following him for just a while now, you guys. He saw him burning a piece of water from the drone, right? It was like he was performing some kind of a ritual like they do in the forest, you know what I mean? He came, and this time we played hide and seek. He couldn't find me and ate all the donuts. That surely was a dude from behind the window. He knows a lot, but he just won't tell us. Just look at that. The man behind the window can mutate in all sort of ways. It's possible that he's left some more notes here. It turns out that he was definitely luring him on purpose to here. Uh, I made you guys some more donuts. What do you mean donuts, huh? Well, can you tell us more about the man behind the window? Shh. He'll hear you. I've been researching this creature for years. Sometimes he disappears for long periods of time and then he just comes back again. Lately he's been visiting this apartment almost every day. He's always going somewhere most likely to his other victims. But it's hard to figure out where he's going. Because that man behind the window, well, he's really elusive. Are you purposely getting his attention so that he'll come in here and then look? Yes, yes, yes that's, that's right. Um, that's what I was trying to do. I mean, this method could work out somehow. You're a out of your mind, man. Stop it. He's, he's just... Th 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 man, this th th is really dangerous. Yeah, it's really dangerous. Just be extremely careful. Well, what can I do? I gotta take those risks. Tom, this dude's kind of crazy, don't you think? Well, I don't know. What are we supposed to do, huh? Well, first we gotta get out of here somewhere. I mean, he obviously doesn't need our help. He's just making all these donuts all the time, and he keeps track of the man behind the window! Look, we've been talking it out over here. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you for everything. It's really tasty. Yeah, Wait, well, there's we'll more. Yeah, we're gonna go home right no, now. No, 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 come on, come on, wait up. What do you mean? Since you're here, you should see him through the window at least once. He's about to show up. But why? Why would we want to look no, at no, the no, man no, behind no. the window? No. It's very dangerous. No, no, well, what are we going to do? We'll just be leaving. That's it. No, 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 goodbye, no, goodbye. no, 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 you can't, come on. No, 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 he's about to show up. Get out of there now. Yeah. yeah. doing with Cartoon Cat? Hello everybody, it's your friends Adi Schniff is with you today, and this is the fifth episode of Cartoon Cat. I've got Savik with me today, by the way. Yeah. And you guys, let me remind you how the last episode ended. It was Bruno as Cartoon Cat kidnapped me on a boat. But Sothic1234 and the Hunter came to rescue me. And we were captured by Cartoon Cat and Sonic EXE. But after that, thankfully, SCP Fighters came to our rescue in time. But there's one little problem, you guys. And that is that the SCP Fighters took William Bruno away because Cartoon Cat has fully possessed him. And we have no idea at all what's happening to him right now, you guys. I understand that the SCP Foundation may want to help him in some way. Maybe extract Cartoon cartoon cat out of him, or somehow teach Bruno how to control it, but the SCP Foundation is not getting in touch with us at all, at all. And I have a very strong suspicion that William Bruno is being tortured at some SCP base right now. But Sophic and I discovered their location, and now we are going to try and track them for us. The area is very huge, but their research center must be somewhere in one of these abandoned facilities. Wait, but, uh, but, but how are you you're gonna know which facilities to look for William Bruno. Sophic, do you remember how in the last episode you managed to find me with the help of a beacon that you put inside my pocket? Well, when the SCP fighters were detaining Bruno the cartoon cat, I put one in his pocket as well, so I have his exact location on my phone, and that means that the maximum tracking distance is 500 meters. So it's not far away at all. Listen, we absolutely have to save William Bruno. He is probably, like right now, being being tortured. And you guys, I remind you that the new episode about Cartoon Cat will be released as soon as we get a hundred and fifty thousand likes under this video. 
You guys, I can see it. Look over there. You can see the roof of the building right there, Sophic. Just look, those clouds are huge. You see, the sun's there and those clouds are ginormous. And I just have this nasty feeling that the weather is about to get really, really bad. And then we won't be able to launch the drone. We gotta launch the drone immediately then. According to our information, this is where the SCP Foundation base should be. Well, not for our information really, but we managed to find this on the internet. Oh. Look, that's some kind of huge building, you guys. Really, there's a person over there. Yeah. I'm going to fly closer now, but you guys, we need to be as careful as possible because we could be spotted at any moment right now. You guys, check this out. That is a real SCP fighter. Hold on. Guys, he wears the same suit as those who saved us from Sonic the Eggsy. The image is somewhat shaking. Guys, it's like someone's trying to stop us here. Seriously, look at the image. It's twitching really, really bad. As if someone's jamming the signal. Look, there's even SCP an insignia. Base? It says SCP base. The closer we get to the SCP base, the harder it becomes for the drone to actually navigate, you know? Why don't we go and try to get a little bit closer? Really, guys, we're losing connection with the drone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look, 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 it's working. What? Watch out so it doesn't get hit. Savik, look, it's the entrance to the SCP base. Check if there's anything else around that building. All right, well then why don't we try to fly up to these windows and take a little bit of a closer look. Come on. Wow, also here. How about here? Easy. Guys, oh, guys, there's here. a guy over there. Is he a scientist or something or a doctor? Oh, easy, 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 easy. The drone. No, there was a, just a glimpse of someone in well, there. We just saw it all. Do you guys see his face? Look, he's going into the darkness right there. to be real a scientist. Does it say the entrance arrow. over there? Yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. entrance and an arrow that is the entrance to the SCP base is right in front of us right now. It turns out that Bruno was kidnapped by real SCP fighters. And I guess it takes a scientist there to experiment on William Bruno because he has cartoon cat right inside of him. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's see if their base isn't just one little building, but... Sophic, did you see that? Look, they have an entire military complex there, apparently. Dude, do you realize that William Bruno can be in any one of these buildings? Just look, we're standing right here, and you see that? And we're covered by bushes only, and the SCP base is right over there. And these fighters, yep, yep, these two look, and they're extremely close, so we have to be extremely careful. So, let me try to find the appropriate way to get inside, and let's have the drone flying in front of us all the time. Sophic, take a look! SCP Foundation, do not proceed further. Sophic, I'm fully convinced that they are guarding this place. You guys, look, he's doing something with his mask. Sophic, what is he doing? Was he fixing something? Maybe there? he was transmitting something via radio. Maybe he discovered our Drone. No, he didn't. Stop worrying so much. Come on. So what do we have? Really? A sign, two SCP fighters, and an evil scientist of some sort who is supposedly torturing our friend William Bruno right now, or even holding our friend hostage. All right, now I'll land the drone. Let's put the drone away. So go back to the car to grab our backpacks and try to get closer with this camera right no, no, here. No, 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 no. Wait. Let's put on camouflage suits so we can't be seen because I'm bright as a stain, dude. Come on. Then why don't we put on our camouflage and just move through the grass. Quiet. Artyom, don't get too close. You're wearing camouflage, of course, but still, you can be spotted when you're moving. Sopic, there's that sign that says SCP Foundation and that it's forbidden to move through. And that's where the real SCP fighters are patrolling. Let's get as close as possible and try not to draw attention to ourselves. Don't rush, please. And pull in your pants, huh? Come, 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 come. You guys, just look at this. Really, SCP Foundation, do not proceed further. By the time we cross this line, we will be on SCP territory, man. Let's think of how we can get inside. Let's try to get over to that car. He's walking the same route all the time, and when he turns around and looks the other way, then we can run over there to that car. I think that we should do it one by one. It'll be safer that way, but we can also run together. Safik, look, their leader. He's saying something via radio. Hey, look, one of them is leading. the other one turned away. I think it's a good time to run over to the car. Safik, this is our chance. Let's run. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just be careful, please. We managed to sneak all the way to the car, you guys, but there is still one SCP fighter left, so let's try to run and hide behind those rocks somehow. Can we hurry the heck up? Wait, wait, wait. 
He's a couple meters away from us, guys. We record these videos like this and take huge risks just for you, you guys. We are insanely scared right now, so let's just do it this way. You click that like button right now under this video, and we will run past this SCP fighter just for you. Please, it can be done in no time for you. Just, bro, please hit that like button. Our chum is really asking for it. All right, let's try to distract him. Go on. Ugh. Who's there? Just look at these signs right here. It says right here in big letters that this is their SCP base. We'll insert footage captured by the drone right here. And here it says that this is the entrance. So we gotta go through here. But we gotta be really quiet because there's scientists here. But look, it even says here that it is dangerous. Oh, dangerous. Here comes a fighter. What are those sounds? He nearly caught us now. Let's go upstairs because that is where that scientist was, I think. I think he's on the third floor up there. We have to keep our eyes open because they're literally everywhere. There's another SCP fighter right outside, you guys. Let's try to pass. Oh, man. No one's here. There he is, right there. Okay, let's try to take a few shots from above so he doesn't notice anything and I'll distract him. That's it, go, 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 go. We can distract any SCP fighters just like that. Even if they're standing in our way, we don't have to. You know what I mean? We can do it. We can simply just distract him. See anything from here? Ooh. Okay, just kidding, just kidding, just a joke. <gasps> the SCP fire is right there. Don't come out. Oh my god. Okay, Sabi, let's try just throwing a rock at him like we did with that other guy. Who's there? Get down on the ground. Sabi, this is our chance. Come on. Sabi, look. There's another SCP fighter right over there. Why is he standing there? It's like he's looking somewhere else. He nearly spotted us. Okay, we gotta get the heck out of this aisle. There's two SCP fighters right there. Let's first see what he was looking at over there and steadying so carefully. Sophic, I don't like this at all. This thing that looks like Cartoon Cat. I have no idea what this creature is at all. Really? But we've never encountered one of these before. Sophic, just look. It's like they climbed through this hole up to the roof. There. <laughs> That way, they won't be able to climb onto the roof anymore. Look, somebody's coming. Something let's run over there. All right, guys, just in case, that was a scientist. Something, where is he, huh? You guys, just look, there are two SCP fighters right down there. discussing something. Something they went over to those buildings nearby. So apparently that's where they're keeping William Bruno. We have to save him right now. Come on. Well, let's hurry up before they get too far away. Something they went over that way. Uh, our jump, stop, stop, stop. The tape recorder was dropped by the scientists. You guys just take a look. I think that all of you knows that all scientists go around with these tape recorders to record their researches or something like that, you know? Let's listen, so maybe we'll learn something about this. Specimen number R420 has been delivered to the research facility. Vessel, William Bruno, owner, Cartoon Cat. Exercise extreme caution. Commence extraction procedures. Enhance compound security. They've 
assigned some kind of number to William Bruno and are experimenting on him right now. We must simply rescue him, man. Come on, come on, come on, William Bruno, we're coming. Savvy, let's run, come on. Don't rush, man, we'll blow our cover. Safik, look! I think he went into this huge building here. There are at least five floors there. We need to scour the place quickly and find Willy and Bruno, really. SCP fighter! You guys, we need to distract these SCP fighters somehow urgently. Let me check on how many of them. Jump, there's two of them. I have a great plan. The thing is, I recently installed a really cool app on my phone. Now, every time a new viewer subscribes to this channel and makes the red button turn into a gray button, then the flashlight on my phone flashes and it makes a sound for me. If the audience agrees to help us out right now, then you and I can save William Bruno. I will leave my phone somewhere around right here and then when the viewer presses the red button and my phone will make a little beep and the SCP fighters will react and come running over right here. Our tomb, but we're here too. But we will go upstairs. I've got a bunch of fish net with me and when they stand right here, we'll throw the net on them just like this, you know what I mean? But we really need the subscribers to press that red button in time. Guys, I hope you can help us, but our tomb is talking too much and we need to get out of here like right away, faster. Now it's time to click on the red subscribe button, you guys. Please, subscribers, please. Otherwise, we will not be able to advance this plot, you guys. Sophie, throw it now. Ah. Stick the phone. Okay, just let me get my phone. Oh, hi, SCP fighter. Yeah. You guys, thank you so much for all of your help! No way, Sophie, just check it out! It looks uh, just like that first drawing we saw back at the beginning of the SCP Foundation base where we were, but this one is way bigger! I can't figure who that thing is, but it does look like Cartoon Cat! Well, just look at it! It's obviously not Cartoon Cat! Maybe our viewers know the name of this creature drawn right here. Maybe it is some kind of another SCP Foundation biological experiment, you know? And if we get 50,000 comments under this video, we will definitely catch this creature next! But first, we need to help Bruno! Freeze! Oh, oh, SCP oh. Fighter! After them! Oh, what? There could be SCP Fighters anywhere, factoring in that they saw us already. The main thing is to sneak in very carefully and find William Bruno. No! Stop it! You're Stop killing it! There. Stop it! Sophie, just look at how crazy this mess is, man! <laughs> Joe, did you see this? Let me out, please! Oh, man! I think this is the end of me! What is he doing to Cartoon Cat? <laughs> you guys, I just don't get it. What's going on in there right now? Why is Cartoon Cat lying there? And why is William Bruno inside a cage? And that doctor, he's... Guys, this place is just incredibly scary! <laughs> Let me go! Let go of me! Oh crap! No! 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 Something! Here! Bruno! Come on, take it off! Take it off! So did they get the courage you can't out of you or not, man? I don't know, that mad scientist injected me with something, some kind of green liquid right into my arm. Oh, SCP fighters are here, guys! Back off, back off, back off! Oh, oh. my gosh, we're trapped! Sonic EXE! You guys, there's Sonic EXE right over there! And on that side are the SCP fighters, what do we do? Guys, we have no choice! Turn here, turn here! Ah. Ah. Going 
to kill each other for sure! Well, that works for us! What was that blast, guys? We gotta get out of here, guys! While they're fighting each other, we have to move! Come on, Arto! Go on, Sapphic! Yeah! Oh, whoa, whoa, crap! We gotta go! Let's go! Bruno, what were they doing to you? What kind of experiments were they making there? I don't know, Arto. Most of the time, I was unconscious, but when I woke up, I said B-Fighters were experimenting on me. They were trying to extract Cartoon Cat out of my body and... Uh, yeah, you stinky people! How did you do that? Ah, uh, oh, damn. It looks like they managed to extract only a half of Cartoon Cat, and the other half is still living within me. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. How did they do that? I hate you all. It's almost impossible for me to control it, or rather it can be done, but it's very difficult. Looks like Cartoon Cat is with me forever now. You guys, we have to find this SCP Foundation. I even used to work with them and I thought that they were our friends, but it turns out that they were doing some cruel experiments on Bruno. So you guys, if you would like us to make a new episode about Cartoon Cat, be sure to give us 150,000 likes underneath this video. Thank you for saving me. Well, you guys click on this video right here because it's probably the last video of these guys. Really click on that video. It's really cool. I watched it myself and I liked it. So come on, click right here.